Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at another Naruto Uzumaki Senin Mode figure. And for all of you Naruto fanboys who complained that it's not Senin Mode, it most definitely is Senin Mode. It just might also be called Sage Mode. I don't know anything about Naruto, but I do know how to read, and I can read it right there, and I can read it right there, and that's the Japanese term for what this is. If you want to call it Sage Mode, go ahead, but if you're going to be a Naruto fanboy, at least know what you're talking about. Now, this figure is probably the best version of Naruto to date. It has a lot of accessories and some pretty nice posability and a nice paint job. So before you guys all get your pants up in a tizzy, you should know that this is going to be a fairly positive review of what you apparently really, really, really like. So calm down before you start typing out how much you hate me for not liking Naruto. Let me finish the review and you'll see that it's actually a pretty good figure and that you might want to buy it. So let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about five and a half inches tall, including the hair spikes, which is going to make him just about 14 centimeters. So pretty standard size and first impressions that he's exceedingly pleasing to look at. The paint job for this kind of fire pattern on his jacket's very nice. The colors on here are very, very clean. And then the paintwork for his track suit, I guess it's a track suit. Again, very clean. The, the wrap down here, the zipper, the, the black lines, everything's very nicely done. So that's a good thing. And here's the cool thing about this guy. This all comes off. All the red stuff comes off, and you can have what's essentially just a standard Naruto figure, which I just think is awesome. You get essentially two figures in one because of the ludicrous amount of accessories. So let's go ahead and talk about those. In terms of the faces, we do only have three though. We have the two with the red mascara, one neutral, and then one where he's angry. And then we have one neutral normal face where he's, I guess, not angry as much. Maybe he's a little angry. I don't know, but his eyes are blue. So he's normal looking. We have a bunch of different hands. We have the two fist hands, two gripping hands, two instant transmission hands, two wide open hands, and then one wide open hand to hold his accessory. As far as the arms go, we have the two folded arms with the red sleeves to go on while he's got his jacket on. Then we have the parts to make his red sleeve arms normal. So you can have imposable with the jacket on. And then we have the parts to pose him without any red jacket on at all, just the black normal sleeved arms. So that's three different sets of arms essentially. They do have to combine here and there, but they do work out. And then we have two kunai. We have, I guess you can count the jacket as an accessory if you want to count that. So we do have the jacket as well, but that kind of goes with the other arms. We do have the one uh, raisin gun, and then we do have the raisin shoryuken, which is very nicely done. They both are really nice translucent blue with a little bit of shading on them. Very pleased with those. And we get a Tamashi Nation's display stand, which is good for the figure or for the raisin shoryuken. So lots of good stuff going on here. You can also count this piece on his back. If you want to as an accessory, it's got these huge pegs in it, but once you take them off his back, you can set it on the shelf without the pegs showing, and it counts, I guess, as, as an accessory. They posed them like that on the box, so I guess people might want to do that, but I don't know. I guess, I guess you could. So this all comes off. We're going to pop it all off so that we can review him with just his standard arms. And then you'll see in the photos at the end the various options, but you don't want to watch me swapping arms out back and forth over and over again. That'll be boring. More boring than watching something else that's boring. You thought I was going to say Naruto, but I didn't. I just thought it really hard. All right, let's tuck these in. This one goes back here. This one goes back here. If I can see what I'm doing, let's put it like that. Hey, get in there. Wrong way. Get in there. There we go. There's that one, and then we put the arms on. This arm goes on this side. They do swap out fairly easily, which is a good thing. Usually this kind of thing is a big hassle. Not so much. This guy works pretty well. That's what I was saying in the beginning. It's like it's not a bad figure at all. I don't have to like the show to review the figure, guys figures independent of the show. Let's put some hands on them just so that you guys get the full the full effect of what Naruto looks like with his hands. There we go. So there you go. Standard Naruto figure. He still has the mascara on, but you can swap that out. Speaking of, this piece is his little the little bandana tie thingy. Comes out 
which means it's also poseable. It's kind of stiff in there, so you're not going to get to do a whole ton of posing, but it will rotate some. Just be very careful because it's a softer material, so you can do that. And as far as the head goes, I'll show you the articulation. It's a ball hinge with two straight pegs, which is a little bit weird, but it's functional enough. And then the neck is on a ball peg as well. So you're going to rotate at the bottom and at the top and have the hinge. So what you have to do if you want to lean it side to side is get that ball peg to rotate like that. Which is why I hate using ball hinges, because you have to basically have the face disconnected in order to pose it properly. And it's just such a hassle to get it to go where you want it to go. See, you shouldn't have to swing the head around like a crazy person just in order to lean it to the side. And the easy solution is just a double ball peg, and it works just fine. But it's okay, it's not the worst. For the shoulders, as you already saw, big old ball peg there for lots of range. Raise the arm all the way up, no problems at all there, full rotation. Bicep swivel is mixed in right there, but you still get a really good range. Double jointed elbow is awesome. Not the best looking in the world, but it's okay. And then you have your wrist hinge, ball hinge, which works out well enough. Torso articulation, not the best, it's still pretty limited. Up here it's not good. Down here, still not good. I don't know why they keep doing that. It's not good range at all. Doesn't extend or anything like that. The hips are the old kind of hips, so bringing them forward, not the farthest range. However, you can drop them down and get a little bit better. So that works well enough. That's better than horizontal, so that's okay. You can go back as well, go out to the side. Really good range there. You do have a thigh swivel built in. Single jointed knee, which is not bad. I'll take it. And then for the ankle, you get decent range going back, decent range going forward. You can rotate that around for a perfect ankle rocker. And then you have a toe hinge, which is questionably loose, but at least is in the right location on the foot. Toes are still painted terribly. So it's not a perfect figure by any means, but in terms of Naruto figures, the first one was awful, then we got some decent ones, and this one's probably the best only because the body's good enough but you then also have the different accessories for the energy effects you have the red cape cloak jacket thingy alternate arms the big burrito thing that goes on his back different faces lots of different parts the the instant transmission hands are included again so plenty of posing options for this guy i think you guys are going to like it this guy's on a ball peg by the way it falls off sometimes when you're playing with it that's what she said. It's it's a solid figure. I think you guys are going to like it a whole bunch if you're Naruto fans. So you should probably pick it up. It's a really good release. And I give you the go-ahead to get it. And I know you guys all are concerned with what I think about Naruto. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do have new videos up just about every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games. All kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.